today. I want to um, welcome our honorable and esteemed guest here, Congressman Bordeaux, County Commissioner uh, Marlene Foss, to you, County Commissioner Jasper Watkins. Uh, Rory Johnson is the Lawrenceville Housing Authority Vice Chair. Um, and Matt Elder is the president of the program, uh, Gwinnett County Program Home for Gwinnett. And our mayor of the city of Lawrenceville, David Still, and all of our LHA team um, in the background. So I'm going to just say a couple of words, um, well, more than a couple of words, um, about this project and what it means to us. Um, I am honored to be here today, surrounded with our community partners and elected officials who share our passion for serving Gwinnett residents across all income levels. More specific to our mission, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. More specific to our mission, thank you uh, all for recognizing that affordable housing is a foundation for healthy communities. Lawrenceville Housing Authority and our nonprofit Gwinnett Housing Corporation's mission, uh, we have a long mission and history of providing quality and affordable housing for low-income families. We currently have 296 affordable rental units under construction, and um, we're building 60 single-family detached homes for first-time home buyers who are being priced out of the market. With our home ownership program, we not only developed neighborhoods, but we built equity and intergenerational wealth for households regularly uh, priced out of the private market. In fact, our current homeowners currently have over seven million in earned equity that will set them and their future generations for long-term success. With average apartment rents in Gwinnett County almost doubling from $828 in 2000 to 1523 in 2021, preservation of existing affordable housing is crucial to our county's vitality. Preserving affordable housing is more cost-effective and easier than new construction on previous public investment in a way that supports local economies. This project represents ongoing affordable housing preservation activities that the Housing Authority conducted in the past. For instance, in a collaborative development redevelopment initiative with the City of Lawrenceville and the Department of Housing and Urban Development, we built 36 public housing units located in Thompson Square, which replaced 70-year-old public housing units that were functionally obsolete. This represented a single largest municipal investment in affordable housing in the history of Gwinnett County. In addition to the Thompson Square, Lawrenceville Housing Authority is currently in the process of replacing additional functionally obsolete public housing units with two mixed income neighborhoods developed in partnership with our developer, One Street Residential, utilizing low income housing tax credits. This represents a $70 million investment in the city of Lawrenceville. One of these developments actually closed last Friday, March 18, and will feature 140 affordable apartments for seniors. In a couple of months, we will also close on the family development consisting of 156 uh, mixed income units. So to continue our preservation efforts, Lawrenceville Housing Authority started its capital campaign in 2020 to raise $1 million for investing in the rehabilitation of the remaining 66 public housing units. Uh, our goal was to invest in energy efficiency improvements landscaping, community enhancement, and interior systems. With the help of the Cong Congressman Bordeaux's office and Gwinnett County, who awarded 150,000 and 400,000 respectively towards this project, we have not only met, but exceeded our goal of $1 million. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, Congressman Bordeaux, I'm gonna get emotional, for your continued support and for your commitment to housing our seniors and families whose wages are just simply not adequate to afford the private sector, and especially with the rising rents. Also a big thank you to the Gwinnett County Board of Commissioners for awarding $400,000 in community development program funds uh, for playground equipment, energy efficient windows, water heaters, and kitchen remodels. In partnership with Gwinnett County, we were not only able to preserve our communities, but also add critical housing programs to Gwinnett, such as our home ownership program, Welcome Home, and our transitional housing program, Pathway Home, that houses homeless families with children. In summary, with this project, Lawrenceville Housing Authority aims to preserve affordable housing, improve function, safety, accessibility, and appearance to parts of the three housing developments with the goal of sustainability, 
so that this decent and affordable housing is able to remain in place and progress with the rest of the city in a way that complements the aesthetic of private housing in the neighborhood. Thank you all so much for coming. And I would like to um, introduce next our Lawrenceville Mayor, David Sill. Thank you. We're very grateful for the Lawrenceville Housing Authority and all that Layla and her team are doing. They really do a rock star job in helping to have our residents to be able to have affordable housing, which is so important to have stable housing for everybody. And we just look forward to all the progress that they will continue to make. And we look forward to being part of a future projects uh, in the future. So thank you. And thank you also to um, Congresswoman Bordeaux and all her efforts to bring money and re resources to the community. Uh, the, this has been great. And also to the county for being the county, uh, a team player with the local housing. Excited to be here today for this opportunity and to see such a tremendous opportunity of leveraging federal and local funds that you represented for Dobrod along with the county commissioners and of course the strong city support from, from the mayor and all of his staff there. Uh, I've had the great pleasure working with Layla and LHA for the better part of the last decade and they've done simply amazing things in the affordable housing space and the timing couldn't be any better given recent data come out showing that 53% of renters in Gwinnett County are currently living in unaffordable situations. We mentioned the 5% increase we've seen recently in median rent across, pro, prices across the board here in Gwinnett County. Uh, the timing to preserve organically existing affordable housing has never been clearer than right now. And this is a clear statement that public housing has a clear identity and a clear place within the, exist, the future affordable housing plan within the community for how we grow and how we come back this process. Uh, I thank you all very much for coming to come and speak today and to be here for the celebration. It is truly a joyous occasion. Thank you all. Fiscal year 2022. It was signed into law by President Biden on March 15th. 
and it included $150,000 for Lawrenceville's Housing Authority's Public Housing Rehabilitation Project. And it's just one piece of the puzzle as we really work towards making sure that all of our residents here have access to a housing that they can afford. And if you have seen some of the reports lately, uh, the Atlanta metro area, more than almost any other metro area in the country, is seeing extraordinary jumps in home prices, uh, rental prices, things like that. So this is also part of an ongoing effort uh, to make sure that we have affordable housing. It's gotten so bad, actually, when I go talk to people in the community. I was talking with police chiefs the other day, and uh, their number one issue was the fact that police officers can't afford to live in the communities that they police. So we really do need to continue to make progress on this. Um, this project uh, that we got was part of $5 million worth of community projects, and we will be talking about some of those uh, over the, the coming weeks. Um, the funding for this project will help rehabilitate 66 public housing units, which will be occupied by low-income families, and it will significantly reduce the utility consumption in the units by installing energy-efficient products it will save residents money and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So it serves several very important public ends. It will provide safe, decent housing to the citizens of Lawrenceville and to surrounding areas. This is just one example of the amazing work Gwinnett County is doing to address housing and homelessness. In February, Gwinnett County's Project Reset 2.0, which is run by Matt Elder, received $25 million in financial assistance from the Federal Emergency Rental Assistance Program. And these additional funds will be essential in helping people stay in their homes uh, as we go forward. Gwinnett County is really leading the nation in delivering direct rental assistance to residents as well as supporting uh, affordable housing. So with that, I just very much appreciate all of this effort. Um, if you can hand me the check in the back there, we can show everybody that. Take questions if you all have questions. So let me slide yeah. back.